We'll keep you up to date with the next height of 5 metres and the 95. But on the track, it's the two-lap final. The penultimate event on the track, the 800 metres. A wide open race, this one. There is no David Radisha, but we do have eight world-class men, all of whom want to fill that void. Steve Ovet, it's hard to call which way this one's going. Yes, it is, but I have to laugh. The boys ran straight out, didn't they? Not like the sprinters. The sprinters had their own time there, didn't they? took their time and walked out. The 800 meter guys, let's get out, let's get on with it. Yeah, it's hard to call. This is a pretty close race. There's some guys that like to lead from the front. People like McBride, maybe Bet, the Kenyan. And there's others like Adam Schott that like to come back. Langford we saw finishing fast. So it is going to be a very, very strange race. We'll have to wait and see. There's Bet. This is the man that should run really well in this race, but up until now in qualifying, hasn't looked totally confident with his ability. I guess we do have to remember he's still only 19 years of age, world junior champion. Is this the day that Nigel Amos upgrades the silver he won in this stadium so magnificently behind Radisha five years ago? Commonwealth champion and African champion since then, but he's also had a tough time with injuries, Steve. It hasn't been a smooth five years since he won that silver as a teenager. No, no, and it hasn't. So, there, as I say, that means that everything in this race is up for grabs. I think most of these guys, I think, are quite confident that they maybe get up there in the medals, but it's how the races run. As I said before, you have the likes of McBride and Brett that might, that might just push it on. And if that's the case, then people like Bosse, Amos, uh, and Aman might follow. And then you've got the likes of Schott, maybe, and Langford, as I said. That's the character of the race that should emerge. Whether it does that or not, is, is, is we'll have to wait and see. Well, Nigel Amos representing Botswana. Thankfully, he has not been struck by the illness bug that has meant Isaac McQuala will not be in the 400 metres, which comes after this. There is Amos. We've got the likes of Adam Schott so often sprinting to glory or a major medal in the last 50 metres. Brandon McBride in the foreground there, just bending down for his shoes. He ran really well in the semi-finals. Very aggressive, the Canadian. Thiago Andre on the outside. It's a brilliant field, and in the absence of Radisha, it's a big, big opportunity for a global title. Mohamed Aman, we haven't said much about him yet, the Ethiopian, just at the top of your picture world champion in Moscow, but arguably not in that kind of form. PB 142.3, but he hasn't gone inside 145 this season. Here we go then with the final of the men's 800 metres. David Radisha producing that world record here five years ago. What kind of drama will we have this time in London over two laps? Here is the official lineup. The world champion from four years ago, Mohamed Aman, starts on the inside. Pierre Ambrose Boss has been so close to the major medals for the last few years. Amos got the silver in London. Will it be gold this time? Adam Schott, so such a good performer from Poland. Let's take a look at the full field. Starting Thiago Andre starts on the outside. Just missed the medal at the World Juniors a few years ago over 8 and 1500 meters in PB shape this year will a fast time be necessary or will it be a fast finish from a tactical genius that does the business Adam Schott twice a European champion silver medalist in Beijing if it's slow he will definitely feature at the end Brandon McBride National champion, looked really good in the semis. He's aggressive and he's not afraid to take it out. Kip Yegon Bet, the reigning world junior champion, just 19 years of age. Can he fly the Kenyan flag in the absence of Rhodesia? Nigel Amos, the second fastest man in the world this year, silver medal in London. This track has produced great moments for him. Is there another one to come of a higher colour? Pierre Ambrose Boss just missed a medal in Rio with four, was fifth in Beijing. And Kyle Langford of Great Britain, what an opportunity for him. Grew up with his parents, 
running a chip shot in Watford. And Mohamed Oman, the former world champion, can he recapture glory days of the past? Well, Carl Langford actually trains on my home track down there in Brighton. He's coached by Chris Big, an old friend of mine that uh, used to be one of my club mates. So there's some connection, I suppose, for me and Carl in this race. The final of the men's 800 metres. It is wide open, a massive opportunity for one of the eight men here. Here we go then. We have no idea how this race is going to pan out. And will it be fast from the start? Yes, is the answer. Because McBride, as we saw in all of these races so far, likes to run hard. But the man to follow, and the perfect man to follow, is Nigel Amos in the blue. But Bride leading out, Amos in the blue, and coming right from the outside there, Andre of Brazil. And there was a real clash there, Steve, between Kipyegon Bet and Nigel Amos. It was such a big tussle that Amos was not completely off balance there for a little bit. And, and they've clashed again. We're talking about the men who are now running on either side of Andre of Brazil, but Bride, though, poised and strong at the front. Yeah, that's just the way he likes to run. Let's just see what the time is. If it's close to 50, or 56, 7, it's very respectable. This third 20 metres is where McBride's got to do the damage because look how they're still gathering behind him. Amos is there. Andre is there. Bet moving out, as you'd expect. Just behind them, Aman. Right at the very back, shot. He's got a lot of work to do, but that's exactly what he likes to do. Well, McBride has been passed. And look at Boss coming wide on the outside. McBride is going backwards. And still Nigel Amos is getting involved with the tussles with Bet. Boss, who has twice just missed the medal in this event, is striking for glory for France. Bet is beginning to rock and roll a little bit. Amos in third. Shot is trying to close. But what a run this is by the Frenchman. Boss is coming wide on the outside. It's shot on the outside, but Boss is going to win from shot and bet. Langford just, just missing out on a medal for Great Britain. Boss can't believe it, but when he hit the front, he had the gap he needed, and it is about the acceleration. Fourth in Rio, fifth in Beijing, but he is number one here in London tonight, the Frenchman. He gave that absolutely everything. He almost can't believe that he won it. What a race and what a finish. Well, that was a phrase wasn't to remember, really. But Bride did all he had to do, but he does run out of steam, the Canadian, over the second half of the race. Boss took it up. That's what you've got to do. If you're confident and you're strong, give it a go. Just get out there and work hard. Shot came from about 30 or 40 metres back. I think he was in a different race. He came from nowhere and ended up with the silver medal. Langford, fourth, nearly getting that bronze medal. So, so close. Personal best all over the place, really, for Lang well, Langford, anyway. Season's best for the other two in front. Wow, what a race. Let's just watch that replay again. Look how far Langford and Schott are behind. Langford, well, he's in a different race. Boss is gone. He's done everything perfect. You can see that now. The others are trying to catch him. Look at the, these two coming through now. Shot and Langford. Langford has got a beautiful start, but he just leaves it so, so late. The others are dying on their feet. Amos is dying. Boss can't believe it. He thinks maybe someone's going to overtake him, but they didn't. Shot gets second place. And in the end, what a disappointment that uh, Bet just beat Langford for the, the bronze medal. But what an achievement here for Pierre Ambrose Boss after just missing out twice before in the global races. And he just took that by the scruff of the neck, Steve. He did, you know, he didn't wait. He decided, right, I'm going for this. I'm going to be bold. This is mine. What a way to do it. It is, but it was an open race. We said before, anyone can win this. And in that sort of race, when you haven't got the likes, you know, of the great David Radisha taking it up and getting close to a record, if you haven't got that sort of man in the race, then it is open. If you take the opportunity and you give yourself a your chance, well, what have you got to lose? And this man did exactly that, and his chance was rewarded with a, with a gold medal. Shot, again, I think left it too late. Really did. Langford again, I'm not sure what he was doing there at the back, but obviously disappointment because I think he could have got third, if not silver. Well, Boss was so emotional at the end of that race. 
Pierre Ambrose Boas took his opportunity in magnificent style. Shot once again, sprinting through late for the silver, and Bet just hung on from the fast finishing Briton Kyle Langford, who is at least rewarded with a lifetime best here in the Olympic Stadium. What a race!